everyone and welcome back to Poppy Seed Mini. What do you think of my new outfit? Today, we're gonna be checking out doll clothes from Timu. And we have a bunch of things to check out. Whether you're on the hunt for new doll clothes, stocking stuffers, or birthday gifts, we've got you covered. Thank you, Timu, for sponsoring today's video and for sending us all of this fun stuff to check out. If there's anything you would like to purchase from this video, all of the links will be in the description box below. And if you download the Timu app, you can use this coupon code for a $100 coupon bundle for new users. And don't forget, Timu has free shipping and a free 90 day return policy. But before we get started checking out all the clothes, I bought a few things to set the scene. The first one, is this really nice clothes hanger. It is 12 by 13 inches and it comes in a two pack, but we're just gonna use one for today. I found the set for $6.49. I also picked up these rainbow acrylic display stands. I thought they'd make great coffee tables in the dollhouse. But for today's build, I just thought we could use them to display our little items on. Um, when you get them in the package, they have a clear film on the inside and a blue film on the outside. And just to warn you, if you're not careful, you could also get the rainbow film and peel that off. So this set comes in a set of six. So there are two of each size and they were $14.99 for the whole set. There we go. Just the blue, not the rainbow. they were cute and for a dollar 79 I found this mannequin that I thought was super cool it's like one of those like old-fashioned birdcage ones it's got the stand and the peg and all you do is slip this in here like so and the bottom of it is round which I didn't expect, but it has to be popped in place. Hang on, off camera thing. Oh. Yeah, okay. So that takes a little force, but it's super cute. I also picked up a couple types of hangers. I couldn't quite decide online which one I liked better. I love gold. Pink is cute. It's got a bow on it. I mean, it's got the little notches. I don't know. So I got them both. These ones, the gold metal ones were $1.80 and the pink ones were $1.99 for 10. Now the pink ones kind of snap on to our hanger and the gold ones just hook on like so. But of course the true test will be how do they hold the doll clothes, of course? The other thing I found was a super cute doll mirror. It was $2.49 and it does have some film on there. And then you just click the mirror into the legs like so make sure you face them the right way so the pegs are inset and then they have this lower piece that sticks in to the legs now i probably go back and spray paint the stand for my mirror black, I think. We'll just set that over there 
for when the dolls want to check out their looks. All right, so the first look we're going to take a look at is this pink sweater with this cute hat and these ripped capri jeans. They were $3.49 for the set. And I'm pretty happy with them. They look great. It velcros in the back. The pants have nice detailing. The rips are fake, but they still look cute, even on camera. The sweater and the hat look amazing on a curvy doll, but the pants are definitely a no-go. It also fits great on a petite doll. This is more of a skipper sized body type. So that's pretty cool. The only thing I think I'll wanna do with this is change out the Velcro for snaps because it will snag. So that would be my only tip on that one. Definitely one I would buy again. In fact, it comes in more colors. So yeah, I might have to get some more of those. All right, what do we have next? We have a lime green sweater and a pair of shorts. All right, let's try them on. And voila, here it is on a regular made to move Barbie. I love the color, it's really great. I'm pretty sure they had other colors in this. It has a hood, but there's like nothing nowhere for the hair to go. So, I mean, it kind of works, kind of messes up the hair, but it looks cute down. And the shorts are really nice, actually. They've got the little cuffs and the stitching on the pockets and everything. It is Velcroed in the back, which again, I might be switching all this stuff over to snaps because I'm a snap girl. And I am not a Velcro fan. Again, the sweater is great on the curvy, but the shorts are a no-go. The sweater's a little oversized on a skipper or petite doll, but it's super cute. I love it. And the shorts fit great. This set was $2.99. All right. Let's try something a little bit more fancy this time. Oh my gosh, you guys, isn't this cute? Look at the skirt, it's that crimpled. Oh, it's got a um, elastic waistband and it just slips right on. The sweater has three quarter length sleeves and a brown bow on the front and then it does Velcro in the back. But I'm in love. I would buy it just for the skirt, you guys. I'd buy this just for the skirt. It's so cute. <laughs> this outfit looks fantastic on a petite doll, but unfortunately it will not fit the curvy dolls. I found this outfit for $2.49. All right, I'm really excited to check out this next one. All right, I ran into a little snag with this one. It will not fit. Oh, no, it pulled over. Okay, let's try this. Okay, so this dress is a little too tight for Barbie. So, all right. Let's try it on the petite. All right, it's much cuter on the petite doll, but I think the skirt could use a little ironing. So before I can try that leather jacket on, I'm going to try on this little dress to wear underneath. All right, the pink sparkle dress fits great, but it is quite the glitter spreader. I don't know, the glitter is just coming off this thing. But it's super cute. It was $2.49. Now going back to the other set, it comes with two fake leather 
like slip on sock boots. They're not actually boots, they're more like socks, but I think they're meant to look like boots. They're pretty cool. All right, here's it with the leather jacket on. And it even came with a little clutch purse. It's just a plastic, like Barbie purse. So yeah, that fits good. It's hard to believe that this set with a leather jacket and the boots, purse, and the dress that didn't fit was $2.99. Very fun. Out of those two sets, the only thing that fit our Kirby doll was the jacket. The boots and the jacket were too big for our petite doll, but she fits lovely in the little pink dress. All right, let's try out something sportsy now. I thought this was a cute set. It came with white shoes and a plastic pink backpack that can open like so. And then depending on the size doll that's wearing it, it has little adjusters on the bottom. The outfit itself is a bit of a tie-dye look. So let's try this on. Whoa, I am colorful. Oh my gosh, my daughter would love this outfit. It is so cute. Now the pants and the top, both Velcro in the back. The shoes fit great. They're just basic white tennies. And everything fits really well. My only pet pee was I had a little trouble getting her hand through one of the sleeves. But it might have just been me. It's a little oversized on our petite doll, but I kind of like it that way. It's super cute. And the backpack can slip over their shoulders and looks like it's perfect size for our dolls. All right guys, this next dress comes in four separate pieces. So the skirt, top, and the sleeves are all separate. It's pretty tight on the classic doll, so it's not gonna fit our curvy. It comes in three other colors, which I might have to pick up. And it was $2.49. The top looks pretty good with a pair of pants. The dress is almost a floor length gown on our petite doll. Isn't it cute? I'm super excited about this next one. It is the Barbie movie inspired Ken and Barbie look. All right, so the Barbie inspired look comes with a hat, a pearl necklace, a bracelet, these adorable little rose shoes, and the dress. The dress velcros in the back and has lace sleeves and a little belt buckle in the front. The Ken inspired look is cute. Um, I'm probably going to go back and add real buttons though. The printed on buttons are not my favorite. The only thing that didn't fit was he came with white sneakers and they totally didn't go on. Too small, too tight. And I got the whole set for $4.99. All right, girls, who's ready for the ball? I found this beautiful, elegant ball gown. It's called a wedding dress, but I can't imagine anyone getting married in teal. It does come with a veil though, which is just a circle of the teal fabric. Let's see if I can get it to drape over her. I'm sure there's a more classy way to put that on. There we go. <laughs> I found this look for $3.99. I will say, when I pulled it out of the package, the skirt was covered in wrinkles. And I tried ironing it out and I didn't have any luck. So what I ended up doing was 
like a hair dip. So I got super hot boiling water and I dipped the dress in and then pulled it out and let it dry. And that took out the wrinkles in the tool. So that's just a little tip for you guys. Okay, because the top is elastic, this is also a fantastic look for our Kirby dolls. Since we're getting ready for the ball, I did pick up a few accessories. One of the things I found was this little metal purse. And it really like opens up so you can stick things in it. And it has the chain strap, which I thought that was super cool to check out. And another thing I'm super excited about was this little makeup kit. Now it comes with four pegs for legs, but I just wanted it for the box. Look at this cool like chest-like box that it comes in. And then uh, it pops open and it's actually got the little like, I mean, you guys, this thing is so cool. Okay, so cool, we had to zoom in a little bit here. Inside, it comes with a little puff for your foundation and the cutest little nail polish. Oh my gosh. And, oop, tiny things falling. And, a little bottle of perfume. Now, there were more color options than this. And honestly, I wish I had bought them all. They're so cool. Let's see, there is a film on the mirror inside as well. And then I picked up some more little perfume bottles. There's a little rounded one with the gold sprayer on the end. And just a clear one with a fun top. Ooh, this one's fancy. Look at that. And just a plain bottle one. These would be fun to make little labels for you guys. Oh, here's another fancy one. Will it stand up? It's so cute and skinny. Oh, and another little fancy one. Oh, if anyone is looking for something to put on their vanity, this is a great set. I'm really happy with it. All right, guys, who doesn't need a pair of faux leather jeans, a faux leather crop top, and an animal print coat to go on top with this cute little hat? And I can't even believe the price tag on this thing. $1.79. Like, does that even pay for the material? The crop top and pants will fit the petite doll and the coat and hat will fit your curvy. All right, any skater girls out there? This one has a uh, Barbie skating on the front of the top. Although I'm noticing my print was a little off. So like the head is very much in the neckline. It's got this cute pink plaid top with like the front kind of, I don't know, like you could like tie it or it's cute. It's cute. I like it. Probably uh, use this in my accessories. I'm not like the pants fit fine, but I'm not in love with the print because it's just too much for me. Maybe it's jammy pants. I wear these as jammy pants. I really love this look on my petite doll. Isn't she cute? All right, we have a couple more dresses to take a look at. This one has a striped gray skirt with a bow and these super puffy bell sleeves. I wonder if this one's gonna fit the curvy because it's a little loose on my basic Barbie doll. Yes, actually, I like it way better on the curvy than on my regular doll. Very cute. Oh, I'm so bummed about this one. It does not fit very well. 
the um, top is where the issue is. But I love the color and the fabric. So I'll probably take some time to re-sew this one so that it fits. And it's too tight for our curvy and too big for our petite. Here's another sportsy look for your doll. You've got a pink crop top that says sport and Velcro's in the back and these cute pink pants that also Velcro in the back and the little sweater that goes over it with a hood. It fits our petite pretty well, except for being a little baggy in the pants, but it's not gonna fit your curvy. All right, who needs a cute little sweater dress for this holiday season? This look comes with this adorable sweater dress, black socks that go all the way up her leg, these cute white shoes, and the hat. All right, I had a way harder time finding stuff that I liked for Ken, but I thought I'd give this pack a shot. Let's see how it looks. All right, the boys aren't looking half bad. So it came with a pair of jean pants and a pair of black pants, the red jacket and the black jacket, and then two white shirts for underneath. The white shirts are just slip on and I have no idea how you would put them on any other doll other than a made to move doll because their hands are able to like move up by their head and get through the armholes. Otherwise, you probably have to like cut a slit in the back or something. The collar of the black shirt isn't lined, which kind of bumps me out. But again, I got both of these outfits for $249. I mean, so on the red jacket, the details are printed on. It says time and they have these printed pockets. And if you can't tell, it's a fuzzy fur collar on this baby. I also picked up these doll stands, which I'm using with the guys. Um, I have a tendency to break the Barbie doll stands. like this part right here. Like I put it on the doll waist and they snap. So I am actually really happy with these. I got a 10 pack for $4.49 and on the guys and the curvy dolls, it snaps around their thigh and the regular Barbie dolls, it just snaps around their waist. So I'm definitely happy with these. Okay, last item for my Kens. All right, this was probably the most expensive piece of clothing I bought. It was $11.49, but it also is way better quality. It's got snaps, metal snaps that snap on the front. All of the edges have been surged. It's nicely made. The buttons are a little big for me, so I'm not in love with that. And the sleeves are a titch short. I've got a couple more things to share with you as we wrap up this video. One of them is this laundry basket. Now I wanted to get this for a while. I thought it was super cute. And when I'm going to do a laundry room one of these days, I thought this would be perfect. Just throw some of our clothes in there. It is the perfect size for my doll to hold. The handles are just right. And it was $1.79. I also wanted to say don't forget to look for crafting accessories while you're shopping on Timu. I found these adorable little tiny tassels that we can add to our clothes or purses or make earrings out of. Yeah, and then they have miniature buttons, you guys. Like these are three millimeter buttons. Let me zoom in here. 
three millimeter, like super tiny, you guys. So if you want to add cute buttons to any of your looks, you're looking for a three millimeter or a four millimeter button. The tassels were $279 and the buttons were $229. What a deal. Is there anything else you guys would like to see us check out from Timu? Just let us know in the comments down below. We hope you'll like, comment, share, and subscribe. And have fun shopping.